fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. So guess what? We finally, finally, finally dropped the website. You dig what I'm saying? Listen, y'all make sure y'all tap in, man. Crown Creators Academy, the link will be in the description. These are my tiers of the YouTube coaching. You do not have to ask me anymore what the cost is. Here we go. You will also be on the Crown Insider if you become the, uh, you know, my, my, my student of the week. Hello, my student of the month. This is my own digital magazine, The Crown, The Insider, all right? I also have merch for y'all. Give me a damn second. What the goddamn hell, yeah? Honey Sauce, which is one of my favorite designs on this website. You dig what I'm saying? And a uh, good goddamn deal. You dig? This website is very, very, very descriptive. You can go and find anything that you need and all information as well. Also, if you need body butter, make sure you tap in with my Honey Sauce. <laughs> Emerald Zaddy is for the more uh, androgynous, for the more masculine, uh, you know, made sure we had a little cologne type, uh, you know, thing for y'all. But also we have the glow. You dig what I'm saying? Body, body cream and also the candy margarita as well. And ladies, you don't have to get it in your nails. My baby got spoons for y'all. You dig what I'm saying? She got spoons. All right. So y'all make sure y'all tap in. I love y'all so much. Links will be in the description. Enjoy the video. Yiddy. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell, your league? So, Miss Diera uh, posted a video and said, where I've been, I got surgery in a relationship. 2023 reset and more. Now, for those that don't know, I have not been reacting to Diera's videos because she got 777 songs in her videos. I keep getting copyrighted to the point where I just can't even edit the part out. But on this particular side right here, she's just going to be sitting down talking. So it ain't going to be too much of her not talking and just the music playing. So just keep up. But anyhow, we're about to get into this because I'm trying to figure out Who's she in a relationship with? Uh huh. You look nice, friend. Uh huh. It's mango and it's good and I like it and it's sweet. So this is what your girl's gonna be drinking. And like I said, I asked y'all on my Instagram to give me some questions that y'all had or anything y'all want to know. And then I'm just gonna catch y'all up on where your girl has been. So let's get into the first question, which uh -huh. is why you been in my A. Okay, so I've been in my A because your girl needs to take a mental break. And honestly, I feel like that was my main reason and my main focus on even doing a break, which is what I said at the beginning. Like I said, originally I was gonna do a year, but I was like, child, please. But I know for a fact I would have just left for a year and not. A year? <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> what she thought this was? A year? <laughs> That's crazy. That was cute. <laughs> Woo. I made a video, so I would have had made a video before I left if I did a year. But I said I was gonna take a month, and then a month turned to two months. I was like, no, I'm gonna film. Then it just, I just started doing things, and I just started relaxing and just like, oh, I like this feeling of not being able to pick up the camera. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start my, you know, my break. And then that month turns into two months because your girl was just enjoying life and just soaking up real life. That's the real Hello. reason why your girl been in my age. But you know, today I cooked. And I just vibed out. Yes. Good night. Good night. I cooked and I vibed. Out. What? Bye. <laughs> Go to sleep with your sleep itself. Um. Hell, I don't forget. You know, I'm top of relaxing and enjoying life. And I also was working when it came to my business. I had photo shoots. I had to still do things for my business. I still had to do things for YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand you a busy businesswoman. Uh, what's going on here? Relationship, no. So yes, Hold on, what happened? Dating. I am still dating, guys. Okay, here it is. This is what I was waiting on. Versus no nails. I need my nails. I want my nails. So I'll go. Uh -huh. no Somebody no said, nails. are you in a relationship now or are you still dating? I am still dating, guys. I am. 
Who are you dating? Who are you dating? Jesus. She the only person I know that could be dating the hell out of somebody. And we still don't know who this somebody is. Because we could assume and unassume that it is stud poppy. You think what I'm saying? But then we can't necessarily assume. That's what I be trying to tell you. I don't want to necessarily assume that I'm not unassuming whatever it is I'm trying not to assume. But what I am trying to say is, are you still dating and or dating or not dating? Stop, Poppy. Or were you ever or were you not? You get what I'm saying? I don't understand. It just pisses me off because I just don't understand why we can't just be told this. Why the hell she thinks she could date and be in relationships and unrelationships and, and, and we don't know what the hell going on? Who the hell told her she could date without us? I'm not in a official relationship. No. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, I am still dating. How's 20? Who? Who you dating was the question. Oh, girl, I'm sick of three treating you. 2023 has been amazing. That is crazy to even think of that we are literally freaking technically about to be And then she just go right past the question. Like, let me go. Let me study this I question. I, it was just so nice, y'all. Uh -huh. So I would say I would go with no lashes for the rest of my life. Uh -huh. No lashes. I don't need my nails. Uh -huh. I want my nails. Oh, okay. So I go with no lashes. Oh, Somebody okay. said, are you in a relationship now or are you still dating? I am still dating, guys. I am not in an official relationship. Who's she dating? Girl, I'm sick of it. That's all I yep, No. So, yes, I am still dating. How's and just smooth go past the question. 2023 has been amazing. That is crazy to even think. I know her 2023 has been amazing. Because you know what, y'all? She has so many brands. Listen, the brand deals that I've seen her in her videos, I was like, Z girl, when I seen Google, I knew life was great. First of all, Lorve is on top of the world. You know what I'm saying? She, she don't even need a brand deal. Hello. But all I'm saying is she touched a different bag uh, uh, this year slash last year, whenever. I ain't counting her cheese. But what I'm saying is I'm sure she is enjoying the shit out of life. Girl, I would have took three months. i tell you what you should have did. You should have took six and then gave us a little video like, listen, y'all, like, <laughs> My bitch is up. <laughs> Laura Bay is popping. I'm about to go outside. You know, she just didn't feel the need to explain, just like she don't feel the need to explain who she dating. And, you know, I'm just, I, I'm sick of it. I am winded of it. I put jazz in the hot seat. When when I didn't even know hot seats was hot seating. And jazz act like she don't know what the fuck going on. And then De'Ara talking about she want to do a hot seat. Let me tell y'all something. Let, 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 let me just go ahead and get y'all something. De'Ara, you need to go ahead and let me hot seat you. You know what I'm saying? Let me hot seat you. Y'all, please spam De'Ara's comments with let royalty hot seat you. Let me hot seat you, please. Because I have some questions. You know, like, who the fuck you dating? And knowing De'Ara, she going to find a way to not answer that damn question. But I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know if you're going to have 1942 or, 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 or whatever these tequilas they got out here. You're going to be drunk fucking around with me. You ain't going to want to answer shit. Girl, I already got I already got questions lined up for you. Do you get what I'm saying? Y'all going to spam her comments on this video. I need her to let me hot seat her. I ain't got to be in the video or nothing. I ain't asking for no God. You ain't got to tell nobody as me. I just simply would love to ask you some questions. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, <laughs> y'all go ahead and spam it, please. Of that we are literally freaking technically about to be three months in. And then when you think about it, when April hit, that means we'll be four months. That is ridiculous. We'll be four months into the new year. But 2023 has been it's amazing. Just fine. Like, since I took my mental break and One, two, three, four on the chat. And focus on, you know, just my overall well being, it's been amazing. And like, I've received so much good news. Everything is just going mm -hmm. great. I just love it. 2023. How's your sex, honey? Who you having sex with? That's, that's another question I would ask her. Who you have a sex with, honey? And you know, cause sex just plays a huge part in, you know, being so happy. You know what I'm saying? I got get it, the bag is up. But 
Is she is she getting some lumber from somewhere, y'all? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wonder. Uh huh. How's the sex? But you know what? See, I go too far. They're gonna be like, bitch, no, I'm not. <laughs> no. You asking too much. <laughs> it has been amazing to me and I love it. And it's so crazy because this question that I screenshot, the one I just answered, I screenshot it at 11 11. So make a wish. Hello, 11 11. Do you believe people can really change? And my real answer would be yes. I do 100% think that people can change, uh -huh. but I also, a thousand percent, that people can't and don't change because I feel like it's easier for people to stay in the same position and stay in the same mindset that they've been in for so long versus changing because changing is hard and you go through so hard. much when you're changing so i feel like it's you easier do. for somebody to stay in a position or stay in a situation and stay doing one thing without change because well i will say i've changed a lot y'all and i'm happy with the growth um that i have had you know what i'm saying but i understand exactly where she coming from because just like you know uh what's her name for example uh krishan rock <laughs> she don't want to change at all she just you know that nigga exposed her for not doing laundry. The first thing she do is walk in the house and do laundry. Bitch, who? <laughs> I would have been like, mm, your closet show looking dirty. <laughs> Girl would have found every dirty thing on him <laughs> and went live. She go live and give him. Like, can you imagine somebody talking shit about you and then you just give them what they was. I just... <laughs> Yeah, she don't wash clothes. She dirty as hell, and then she go home and wash clothes. Bitch. I'm sorry, y'all. It's, it's easier. Like, I mean, truth be told, it's easier to not change than change and putting the effort into changing because putting effort into changing takes a lot of work. So I feel like people will, you I know, agree. go the easy route and don't change. So I think people can change, but I firmly believe that people don't change and won't change. Yeah. Are you in a good space mentally? And to answer that question now, I would say yes. And I feel like my mental has, it has had its days, but I feel like I do a good job at maintaining my mental and just putting my energy, my mind, and my thought into things that don't distract what my goal is or what uh -huh. I'm getting. The only way you do that is by having a distraction. Who is keeping you undistracted, sis? I have questions. I, and every time she posts one of these, I don't ever see it. So I don't. I never post a question because I don't ever see her ask this. All I be seeing is dumps and good ass food and shit. But um. Yeah, like, who helping with your mental, sis? You know what I'm saying? Where I'm headed and what I want I to just do in life in general. So now that I had that break, my mental is probably maybe 90% good. But I think that oh. overall, my mental is good. Like, I feel like I'm in a good space. So, to okay. answer your question, yes, y'all. So, thank you for asking. Somebody yeah. said, what do you do on days you go MIA from the internet? So, uh -huh. I guess on a day-to-day, -day, what it looks like when I go MIA is basically a normal freaking life. Like, I'm not picking up the camera. <laughs> so, I get up. Like I said before, like I already know your girl wakes up early. Like I'm an early bird. So I get up early. I crack my eyes open at least five o'clock late. Absolutely late, not. If I go to sleep <laughs> late, the latest of that will probably be seven. But usually Damn. I wake up at five o'clock, six o'clock, and I just sit in my bed, look in the sky. I'll be on TikTok sometimes. And then when I get up, I'll probably Girl, if I woke well, y'all, I try, I try my best to wake up at five AM. And especially like <laughs> you know how she said, wake up, look at the sky. Girl, I've tried that, and I ended up going back to sleep. You know what I'm saying? And then I woke up at 10.30 a.m. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like if I were to wake up at 5 a.m. on a consistent basis, soon as the alarm clock go off, I would have to instantly get up. That's what I, let me ask her that. When you wake up, she, well, hell, she says she look at the sky and get on TikTok. I cannot do that. Girl, I'd be like, Oh my God, the sky is blue. And then it's like, oh shit. It's 10 30. <laughs> I had great intentions. You know what I'm saying? We clean up because I like to clean up every single day, no matter if my <laughs> house is dirty. I know it's something that I got to tidy up because I'm one of those people that like my house to be extremely new and look new, like look like nobody has lived in it. So I would clean up my house every day. And then I would just do like, you know, 
everyday things. Like I might go see my mom, I might go to the store, I might go eat with friends. If I'm not traveling, this is if I'm not traveling, I'm home. So if I'm home, this is all the things that I do. Watch TV, sit in my bed, watch Netflix, do all that. Girl, cook, definitely. Or I go out and eat, like I said. Usually watch I have Netflix. Zoom meetings or I have something that I have to do that I have to get done. Somebody said, did you move to LA? And no, I did not officially move to LA, no. Am I moving to LA? The answer would be yes. And I'm trying to manifest this year, so we'll see. Somebody asked, have you ever cheated in a relationship? And the answer to that question it is no. I've never cheated in a relationship. Girl, my already cats. My cats are good. Penny is bad. She's crazy. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. Like, she has attacked maybe two people. <laughs> <laughs> she's getting old. She's getting stuck in her ways. So I have to, like, put her down. Child, like, put her away when people come over because she just don't know how to act. And when I'm traveling, nobody's coming over say, the house. no, not put her down. No. Oh. See, so I have a self feeder so that they can feed them. But other than that, they are doing great. Come on, Another self Another question is, can we get a hint on who keeps getting you these flowers slash gifts? I yeah. already gave y'all a hint, y'all. <laughs> are you going to do a meet wait, and wait, what? these flowers slash gifts? I already gave y'all a hint, y'all. <laughs> are you going <laughs> You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Bitch, I love it. Do you hear me? <laughs> I already gave y'all a hit. Mm -hmm. Next question. Hit ass. <laughs> when I tell you all she do is give hits on that Instagram story, child. So that they can feed them. But other than that, they are doing great. <laughs> Another question is, can we get a hint on who keeps getting you these flowers slash gifts? I already gave y'all a hint, y'all. <laughs> <sighs> so that would mean it's the poppy. But... Once again, you still saying, but not saying and trying to say, but not really that it is her. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, don't get me wrong with one in the chat. I done, I done seen a couple times or whatever. Don't get me wrong. I done seen a couple times. Because anytime they do something, y'all are sending me to shit. You know what I'm saying? I could literally be sitting there minding all of my business. Bam. Look what they are doing. Look at stuff, Bobby. But then when you ask her who she dating, she don't fucking say who. You know, I'm the type that, I don't like, you know what I'm saying, beating around the question and all that. Just, just, just give it to me. Just give it to me. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather you just say, yeah, I'm dating a bitch. No, 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 no. You know what she want to do with this now, little giggle? Keeps getting you this, look at this little giggle. Gifts. I already gave y'all a hint, y'all. <laughs> Are you going to do a meet and greet soon? <laughs> Actually, I have something way better in mind for a meet and greet. I'm not going to say it because I just want to pop out with it. But stay tuned because it's like a meet and greet, but it's not a meet and greet. But it is a meet and greet because I'll be there. But it's going to be like so different and so unique. And it's so me. So like think longer hard what your girl really love. And then think about meeting me and then put them two together. That's what I got planned for y'all. So stay tuned. Another Wait, question was. hard right, what your girl really love. Oh, you, what she really loved. Because did you quit YouTube? And I don't know why it's even a question, y'all. I know, like, two months ago. Uh, because you was trying to take a year break from us. Long time without going on YouTube. But let me just pretty much explain. And I'm going to go into this other topic. Because, like I said, one thing y'all ain't going to do is come for me. Because, okay. one, I'm a regular human being. And, two, I do so much on a day-to-day. -day, and I just do so much in general. Especially 2023. 2023 was, like, a jam-packed year. I literally post every single day up until my birthday i gave y'all so she much did. content on top of releasing my brand she doing did. so much running around shooting i literally had 2023 after my brand release which was april 17th my birthday i had my campaign for my granny i had my fall i had my winter and also if y'all know which y'all should know i plan and think and i do all these things for my brand way in advance and then i do my shoot probably like a month or two months before my actual lunch so i just had so much going on last year i've been doing this for so long like i've been doing youtube and I have been I just feel as though she got every right to chill and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Y'all, child, you'd be surprised. You just be sitting there and, you know, obviously I'm not making the amount of money she's making, but, you know, a bitch get a coin or two. And, you know what I'm saying? You can't do nothing with it because <laughs> you still got to figure out 
I got to do the next video because somebody done, you know, sent to my DMs that dear is sitting on stud poppy fucking lap or some shit. And then I'm like, what the fuck? What? You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, you ask her, is she dating? And then she like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, but anyway, always working. Picking up the camera and filming my life. Not every single day. As y'all can I see, I'm not going to get over that. She need to let me do this hot seat. She she truly do. I, I need to do this hot seat. You know what I'm saying? I truly do. I've been doing this without a I'm break. I'm like, okay, so uh, let's get into two it. Months of break. Like, I don't even think that was even enough. I feel like it was at the moment, but honestly, I could have went longer. But I missed y'all, and I was ready to start filming. Like, I have so much that I have to tell y'all, and I have so much that I have to do. So I was ready to come back. I was ready. I wouldn't have came back if I wasn't ready. But it definitely could have been longer. I've been doing YouTube since I was 18. I am 26. Y'all do the math. Like, okay. I did become burnt out. Like, you know what they say, create a burnout, all that. It's a real thing. And if you are a creator, then you are already know but like imagine doing that just since she was an 18 year old and you are 26 and now that i am 26 and i am single i, I live alone i do my single own <sighs> you see what i'm saying that's fine. Things I have a brand, I have a business, a real legit business that you know also takes my focus away a little bit from YouTube. I have other things on top of my brand that I'm doing as well, outside of my brand and outside of YouTube. So I have so much stuff going on, and that's another thing that I wanted to address too because I'm gonna read y'all this DM. Y'all let me know if I'm tripping or not. But one thing y'all ain't gonna do is come for me, baby, because nah. But it said I just feel like if you wasn't gonna drop no more videos, you could have definitely explained it to your fans. Uh, not explained it. How long, friend? Who love your videos? Which one thing I didn't say that I was taking a break because I didn't know when I was gonna take a break. It just happened, and I mean, shit. Oh, fuck away. Well. Oh, oh sorry, hello. My French. <laughs> <laughs> I did post on my story. I did tweet like I was taking a break and that I would be back. And when I be back, you know, I'm coming back. You know, but I just needed a mental break. So I did tell you guys that. But somebody said you're literally not saying anything about it, which I did. It's just Lord Bay this and Lord Bay that shaking oh. my head. And I'm gonna say this again. It's gonna always be Lord Bay this and it's gonna always be Lord Bay that because Lord Bay is my brand and Lord Bay is well, YouTube is also my thing i love doing youtube i really do but lorve is different lorve is my brand and a brand you just can't take off from you see what i'm saying uh -huh. like you can't just do that you something i have to be there and i have to do things when it comes to my brand legit every single day whether i was taking a break or not i still had to do things for my brand and my brand is something that i want nah, to yeah the entitlement be crazy as hell is somebody having the cojones to be like like, can you imagine talking about that with somebody else? Like, <laughs> yo, listen, I'm about to do some shit. And honestly, I'm just getting to the point where I'm sick of it. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, brothers be like, what you mean? What's going on with your cut? Ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, for real, I'm just sick and tired of this person playing <laughs> with me. And they can be like, who? Because, you know, they don't want to say it because they know they're going to sound stupid as fuck. I'm just sick of De'Ara, like, going off and with her life and doing what it is she want to do and not. <laughs> Can you imagine talking to somebody like that? Nigga, like, hold on. Uh, excuse me, what? Are you saying De'Ara the... Bro, she grown as hell. She could, like, I, can you imagine telling somebody that you about to do that? I think that that's crazy go on forever whatever i do well, i don't have any plans at the moment i'm only 26 i don't have any plans on ever stopping youtube now but like i don't know what the future holds when i begin to have kids when i begin to have a family and when i begin to come of age it's going to be other things in life that i want to put my focus into and that is okay and if i want everybody out there who's going through this change in life because a lot of people don't like change and i'm just here to tell y'all that it is okay it is okay to change it is okay to do things that people don't want you to do it's okay to do things because you want to do it it's okay to do things that makes you happy and, yeah. and it's damn sure okay to do things to protect your peace and protect your mental and get yourself back because i say this all the time like it is a need to if you need it to take yourself away and remove yourself from the equation and get yourself together and then come back bigger than ever i believe in that like i feel like you can't pour from an empty cup and, if and you're I, empty I think she does it well i uh, like if i could well when i can you know do this you know, when I mean, y'all, she been, like she said, she been at this shit for years. So now she can finally, like, sit down. You know what I'm saying? Um, and when I get to that point, baby, I'm going to sit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to drop my dumps and all that. You know what I'm saying? So 
I love the way she go ghost and then come back. I think it's dope. Inside, and if you burnt out, and if you tired, Plus and she you grown. stressed out, like you're not gonna be able to move. You're not gonna be able to continue to go higher and higher and higher if you're stuck at this point of burnout or a level of stress or a level of depression or anything right. like that. So always take a break when you feel like you need it because it helps. You will come back better than ever. Like my energy, like all of that. Like I don't like making videos when I'm just like not in the mood. Like this right. just how I am. If I'm in a mood or I'm in a space, I'm in a funk. I'm not going around people and I'm not getting on camera. It's a fake oh. smile. Neek don't get no ideas though. You can't go ghost. Amber. Amber, uh, uh, you know what? I'm about to go ghost tomorrow for a month. You asked for a fake happiness. No. That is not me. Wish I could. <laughs> not yet. So when I know for a oh, fact that when I'm it come. needing to take a step back, then I'm going to do that. But I just don't like when people try to hold my business against me, if that makes sense. Why that even is a question. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, excuse me. Invested into my brand and the creativity of it. Like, I literally think hard. I think longer hard when it comes to my brand. Like, I would be up late at night and a, a thought would pop in my head. I literally have written down, like, many, 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 many campaigns and many ideas when it comes to my brand. And that probably won't even release till 2026 2025 yeah. but i think that far That's in advance funny. and i put my all into this i want it to be perfect and you know people say all the time oh people just throw up brands and i take pride in it because people see my brand and people see how hard i work no no some shit i just thought of this whole time dear been holding that damn cup y'all know it drives me crazy like when cj hold his camera and don't use a tripod Diara would definitely hog the blunt if she was talking while smoking the blunt. She's like, yeah, girl, because all I'm trying to say, like, it's just crazy. That <laughs> They're going to be like, can I? Can I? She definitely would be hogging the blunt. But if she don't put that drink down, you know she ain't trying to put it down on none of that black over there and have a little ring. She need a coaster, you know, that damn Diara. And, how, and the amount of creativity that I put into my brand, so it shows. And I appreciate the people that acknowledge that. I love y'all so much. And I thank you again, y'all, for all the support when it comes to my brand. But it's just different, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that is okay. When I need to take a break, I'm going to take a break. Then, you know, right now my brand is just my focus. But it's not something that's going to take over me doing YouTube because I released my brand last. Y'all, I'm currently filming this video at one o'clock in the morning i'm so sorry share my birthday and i post it every single day up until my brand lunch so could you imagine what i had to do even though i was still posting on youtube it was a lot i don't know why i'm not getting emotional i am getting emotional because i don't like when i don't feel appreciated or when i don't feel i guess that's the word appreciated because i know some of y'all know and i know some of y'all see but i literally am a perfectionist and i take pride in every single thing that i do and i try my hardest when i was gone and when i was missing for a month for two months. I fear it all. You, the fuck you? You want me to be somebody else, friend? I got my friend on here crying because y'all won't let her take a break. Now, this is ridiculous. I felt guilty, but I just had to look in the mirror and I just had to think to myself and talk to myself. That's like, you're terrible. doing this for you. Like, you're going to come back and they're going to be there and they're going to watch it. And they're going to be like, oh, dang girl, go miss it again because we like when you miss it. You come back and you even better and your content is even better and your yeah. quality is even better. Like, like I said, I upgraded my camera, I did all of that. I was focusing on still coming back and when I was going to come back and what I was going to do when I came back, even though I was taking my break. I still was thinking about these things. I still was writing these things down. I still was taking notes and I still was thinking about content because right now I have about four videos actually. That I'm already filming and planning to upload after this one. So it just takes time. And I just don't want to feel like unappreciated or like people are unappreciative because that DM was unappreciative. Like one, I'm taking a break for my mental. That is the last thing that I need. So uh. I just wanted to explain it. And I just want to say thank you to the people, not guys. I always say guys, but I'm not talking. I trip her while she walking, dear. Like for real. Not you. I trip old girl who slid you that DM. Uh. I hate when people get so entitled. And, and, and what's crazy is people have no idea, like, the amount of work that I put in. I know hers is 20 times worse. Now, it may be on the itinerary, but it's still a lot. You know what I'm saying? And you need you need to take that mental time off, man. That shit ain't no joke. Like how Then so she can get on camera and be all, you know, disconnected and then it's like oh something wrong with the air like yeah bitch i need a break you know what i'm saying they think you just picking up you ain't nothing to just pick up the camera yeah 
Try it. <laughs> Try it. It's a lot to sit in this chair. I've been in this chair for two hours. Everything hurt. You know what I'm saying? But for real, like, people don't understand what how much it takes to put into this. To guys, I'm talking to you guys in general. Thank you guys who have been so patient and so loving and so kind and just saying like all the, you know, uplifting things, like take all the time you need. And people who just check it on me in general, just see if I'm just good and my well-being is good. Like I really appreciate that because y'all don't understand, like that really, 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 really from the bottom of my heart means a lot. So we're gonna get into the next question. Oh, this is actually a really good question, y'all. Somebody said if you knew you will be in this position five years ago would you have done this sooner honestly my answer to that is no i feel like no, if i knew what i knew now i still wouldn't have been ready like i feel like i wasn't put into this situation now that i'm in i wouldn't have been ready i wouldn't have been ready mentally physically spiritually none of it like, i wouldn't have been ready nah, that's the realest answer i've heard all day like because that's the truth because boy Y'all don't even understand. I, I be saying shit now like, I'm glad I didn't do whatever, you know what I'm saying, a couple years ago. I'm glad I didn't meet a per a certain person a couple years ago because I probably would have fucked it up. My energy was bad, you know what I'm saying? I was just all, I was a mess. So I, I absolutely agree Before, with like, and I think no, like I feel like everything that I went through, everything that I've been through up until now, it helped me. It helped me understand. It helped me realize. It helped me grow. It helped me do a lot of things that I feel like I wouldn't have been able to even think or focus on the things that I'm thinking and focus on now. My mind and my, where I was just at mentally, like 100% no. I believe that everything happens for a reason and I believe that you are meant to do what you're meant to do when it's that time. Then it wasn't that time, but now it is. Hello. <laughs> And now y'all see like what it is, baby. So I would say no. Somebody said, when do you plan on getting a house? And that is such an exciting question because I am super excited because I am thinking about purchasing property. Like I am ready for that step. I was talking to my accountant and I was also talking to my financial advisor. And I was like, okay, I think I'm ready for like investing in property and real estate and all that different Period. stuff. And it was just like, well, it's about time. And I feel like no matter where you are in life, do things when you're ready. Like yeah. I don't I don't care how much money you have. If you're not ready to invest in property and do all that, hold out, wait. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to buying a house and when it comes to buying property, that is a lot. And I'm already doing- We just had that conversation today. Go on, go on, stay here another year because we not ready. It won't make sense. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Good conversation. A lot of stuff. So kids, you imagine what I would be doing when I invest into property and when I do all that, child, that's gonna be a whole nother thing. Something that I have to legit think long and hard on because I know for a fact when it comes to real estate, I'm not 100% sure I'm ready to buy a house, my forever home. I talked to my financial advisor, she was just like, well, you don't have to buy your forever home. It is not a home that you have to live in forever. You can buy a property and stay there and then leave and buy, invest in another property. Like you can do that and I know I can do that but I feel like when I buy a home, it's a lot that goes into owning a home. And I feel like I'm already gone 24 seven. I wanna enjoy living somewhere else before I settle into a place forever. I'm not even sure if Atlanta is somewhere that I wanna even buy my forever home. Like, I don't even know. Like I said, Florida is somewhere that I wanna live and raise my kids. So I will say I'm in the talks. I'm in the process of thinking and moving forward with actually investing and buying a property where I live now and staying here until I moved to LA and then maybe doing by coastal and then after a while just doing real estate and just having my place for rent like I would never live here again like when I get to that point that I don't ever ever want to live here again then I will rent it out but yes y'all I'm ready and I cannot wait for that journey don't worry I will be vlogging because I am super 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 duper excited somebody said we seen in your oh we seen in your Tulum dump what did you do for Valentine's Day because I posted a picture of a little set of y'all it was so cute your girl got flew out and X to meet somebody Valentine. Okay, flewed out. Yes, Mr. Valentine. Who the fuck took her out for Valentine's Day? You know what I'm saying? Still, Poppy, you flew in out, dear. You flew her out. So you had to flew her out to Tulum. To ask her to be your Valentine, but you ain't flew her out. 
to be her girlfriend. I'm not understanding what's going on because I don't even know if Stud Poppy was the one who flew dear out. Mrs. I'm dating. Oh, girl. But Mrs. Hint, hint. Oh, sick of it. And I'm sick of them, quite frankly. Yes, on the beach, and it was so nice. It was so beautiful. So, yes, y'all, that girl did have Valentine's Day. Okay, somebody asked y'all, asked tell. me, well, that person asked me, what did I do for Valentine's Day? So, Valentine's uh, Day, I went horseback riding, which was, like, so much fun. Uh, 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 who that on the other horse? What did I do for Valentine's Day? So, Valentine's Day, I went horseback riding. Ah, uh, who that? Riding, which was. Who that person? Is that the horseback riding instructor? Like, so much. Who that? fun because it was on okay. acres of land it was just so beautiful it was just green and i've been horseback riding before but it was on the beach but uh -huh. that was just so different like to be on that much land and just seeing all the greenery and all uh -huh. the little horses and all the little animals it was just so nice so i'm on horseback riding uh -huh. and yes it was so cute but somebody also asked for a general life update which i kind of think i so stuff poppy you had to flew her out to Tulum. To walk on some more. I mean, if it was you, I don't necessarily know if it was you or not, to be honest with you. But if it was, you smooth, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Smooth operator, player, player. I like it. But known for the community. If that's the case, because I still don't know if it was her or not. Did she send out a hint that day? <laughs> Anybody know if we had any hints that day? I touched on it and documented what I've been doing and what I've been up to since I've been going throughout this vlog. I mean, y'all know I went to Tulum and I have a little clippy clip that I'm gonna insert so y'all can see a little Tulum. bit of what I did on Tulum. It was so much fun. Yes. Like, Tulum was so lit, y'all. It was. Oh, amazing. hold on, hold on. Hey. What I did on Tulum, it was uh -huh. so uh -huh. much fun. Like, uh -huh. Tulum was so lit, y'all. Uh -huh. So fun. So you thought you were slick. <laughs> you see who behind you see you see who there y'all huh I spot a forehead look like stuff poppy forehead to me uh-huh but this also look like an auntie or, or you know what I'm saying you know they'll take the family out with them too you know what I'm saying but mm-hmm Okay. Oh, it was amazing. And I've never been to Tulum. And, like, it is so aesthetically pleasing. Like, it was beautiful. It was nice. Uh, uh, oh! Okay. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> amazing. And I've never been oh, to Tulum. Oh, okay. And, like, it is so aesthetically pleasing. Like, it was beautiful. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, huh? Look at her. Happy as hell. Look at, nice. look at this. Just happy. The mopeds, we did. the sky, the evening, the sky view, like y'all, that was so nice. It was like I think it's so. Y'all think that was one of her hint moments? See you know what I'm saying? Was it a hint or was it not a hint? I don't know what's going on with these folks. And y'all may think I do, but I... <clears throat> I don't. You know what I'm saying? So I just, Ugh. all right. Something dinner in the sky or something in the oh, sky, but I think they have it in, in Dubai sky? also. But it's also one in Tulum. That was fun. And yeah, just oh, stop, Poppy! I ain't showing on horseback riding, aesthetically pleased, and dinner in the air. <laughs> Studs up two hundred thousand. If that's who she went with. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know at this point. And I, matter of fact, I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Party and she had to move with I loved every bit of oh. Also, when I've been gone, since I've been gone, I've been to LA two times. So I went out there for the first time when I had to do my campaign shoot for my Valentine's Day collection. And then I went to there again because we had a gallon time and it was just so yes, nice. Yes, so gallon time. So shout out to all the beautiful ladies who came and support and everything y'all look amazing i appreciate all the love and support was so nice my party planner well party planner event planner when it comes to like my events in la she is amazing like she is the best she always execute what i have in mind and my vision and everything and it always just be so crisp like oh, i just love it and <laughs> another question somebody asks whenever you do get in a real relationship because we already had the conversation so ain't no need to go back and forth because we already me and you have an understanding that no, we don't. Who got an understanding? 
Anybody in my comments got an understanding? Oh, because I don't either. We got to understand. Who? Now she wanted to be some we shit. No, 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 no. Ain't no we. Hell wrong with her. So, 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 let me know. Let me hot seat you. Let me hot seat you. I guarantee I'll get the answer out of her. Somebody tell her. I need the hot seat her. Please. When you are in a relationship, you're in a relationship. And when you're not in a relationship, you're single. Uh -huh. And when I keep saying I'm not in a relationship, that technically means I'm single. But somebody asked, if I ever get in a relationship, what I tell y'all? Nine times out of ten, yes, I would tell y'all. Nah, when Deira say nine times out of ten, she cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. Nine times out of ten, nine times, nine times out of ten, she be lying. I'm telling y'all. It'll be a little white one. She be lying. Like, if I'm in a relationship, and I'm in a relationship with somebody, like I'm she cooked lying. up, like I'm someone's girlfriend, yes, I would tell y'all. I would tell y'all I'm in a relationship. Mm. This isn't an actual question, but a lot of people been in my DMs telling me, it's not even a question, telling me to do the hot seat challenge. So, comment below if I should do it. And if I should, give this video a thumbs up because we a seat chow. And then I'm going to ask y'all on Instagram, or y'all can comment below some hot seat challenge. Let me go ahead and, um, DM her, not DM her child. <laughs> Let me go ahead and, uh, you know, say my piece in the comment. Y'all, how do I comment? Oh, I'm about to say y'all don't even know how to comment, Lord. Here you go, here you go. Excuse me, ma'am. I already got a list ready, baby. <laughs> Miss uh, Dinner in the Sky. And uh, Will You Be My Valentine? I'ma just say that. Mm-hmm. Let me do the interview. You did. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Oh, I'm about to say, y'all, this shit done deleted my damn shit. Okay. Bam. Yeah. Go ahead and answer me. <laughs> All right, y'all. Listen, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below, man. Let her know I, I need to go ahead and, um, you know what I'm saying, hot seat interview her. Because uh, I sure got a lot of questions that I think I can get the answers to. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe not. But I love y'all so much. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. <laughs>